What is up and welcome back to the Physique Development YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be teaching on how to perform the supported drop lunge. This exercise is fantastic for training the glute max. As always, we want to get started with the setup. But before we do that, I need you to scroll just a little bit down on this video, hit that subscribe button, make sure you give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment on what your favorite glute exercise is. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. Now let's get into the setup for this exercise. I'm going to have Coach Sue demonstrate the exercise for you all. You're going to need a incline bench as well as an elevation that you can put your front leg on. This elevation only needs to be tall enough to when you step back in your lunge that your back knee is not running into the ground. The incline bench needs to be set at around hip height and you need to be able to comfortably place your hand on the bench. You don't want to be overextended to where as you step back, you can barely reach it. And you don't want to be so close that you're almost hitting your head on the bench itself. You're going to load this exercise with a single dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that you're performing the exercise with. The reason being for this is one of the functions of the glute max and glute med is abduction of the upper leg. When we are loading with weight in the opposite hand in which we're performing the exercise, it is going to challenge those specific portions of the glute max and the glute med more than when we would be performing with dumbbells in both hands. The last thing that we want to do before stepping back into this lunge is ensure at our starting point that she is fully extended at the hips. She has tension in her glutes, she's bracing her core and is ready to get into a more hip hinge position to challenge that glute. As Sue strides back, she's going to step towards her midline. She does not want to step so far over that she is opening up her hips. She wants to ensure that her hips are neutral and facing forward throughout the entirety of the exercise. There are a couple of things I want to draw your attention to at the bottom of this exercise that are very important. The first thing is going to be Sue's shin angle. You will see that her shin is vertical. If we were to see that drive forward, we run a chance of having a little bit more quad being involved than what we want to have in this particular exercise. You will also see that she is greatly biasing the degree of hip flexion that she's having at the bottom of this exercise to allow for us to get the most glute that we possibly can. And the last Last thing is weight distribution. Sue has about 90% of her weight in that front leg, about 5% of her weight in the back foot, and then about 5% of her weight in that front hand. This is very important because as we drive out of this exercise, we do not want to catapult ourselves off of that back foot, nor do we want to pull ourselves up with that front hand. Now let's have Sue take another stride back and talk about how to initiate out of the bottom. Because what Sue is doing here, she has great tension on her glutes and she is going to contract her glute to drive forward. That is going to lift her upper body by driving that hip forward. She is not lifting herself with that front arm, nor is she lifting the dumbbell up with her upper body. She is controlling almost all of the weight with this hip and driving the hip forward as she's coming out of the bottom. And that's a wrap for this exercise. And if you've watched this far, you're probably very invested in growing your glutes. And I have worked diligently over the last year to create a 16 week glute focused training program that is guaranteed to get you the best results of your life. And the beautiful thing is, is that we decided to take the first four weeks of that training program and give it to you completely for free. That program will be the first link in the description box. Enjoy and happy glute gains. As a sign of appreciation, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.